Alright, in this video we are interested in finding areas under curves. And before we get into some heavy calculus, let's look at some basic examples um, that we can solve by just using plain geometry. So find the area of the region bounded by f of x equals 2, the x-axis, and x equals 1 to x equals 4. So what you're going to want to do is sketch this region and see if you can answer the question based on things you already know. So f of x equals 2 is the constant function that passes through 0, 2. Um, the x-axis I've drawn, and then x equals 1 is this vertical line, and then x equals 4 is this vertical line. All right, and so what I want to find is the area of this region. Well, that's not hard to do. This is just a rectangle, and I know this distance right here is 3 because this is 1. And this is 4, so their distance is 3. And I know the height of this rectangle is 2 because this passes through the line f of x equals 2. So the area of this rectangle is 3 times 2, which is 6 units squared. Okay? That's super easy. Why would I even ask you to do that? Well, let's look at this next example. Let's find the region that's bounded by the line f of x equals x, the x-axis, and x equals 0 to 2. So again, let's draw this picture. Draw our axes. So the line f of x equals x. We are very familiar with that function. The x-axis I have drawn, x equals 0 to x equals 2. Okay, that's the line x equals 2. This is the function y equals x. And the region that we care about is that one. Okay, this is just a triangle. I know the base of this triangle has uh, distance 2, and the height of this triangle also has distance 2, and I know that because it intersects the line y equals x, so that should be the point 2, 2. So this distance is 2, and the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, so it's 1 half of 4, or 2 squared units. Again, super easy. What if I shake it up just a little bit and I ask you to find the area of the region bounded by this function, x equals negative 3 to 3 and the x-axis? Well, again, it's going to be important to draw the picture. So do you remember what this looks like? I'm going to rewrite this as y equals the square root of 9 minus x squared. I'm going to square both sides y squared equals 9 minus x squared, and then I'm going to move this over, x squared plus y squared equals 9. Now I may not recognize what's happening in this line, but if I work through this, I should recognize what this is. This is a circle centered at the origin with radius 3. Right? That's the uh, form of the equation of a circle centered at the origin with radius uh, three, uh, 3 squared. I'm sorry, radius 3. So our x squared plus y squared equals r squared is the formula for the circle centered at the origin of radius r. And this piece right here is the top half of it. So if I were to sketch this, it would be the top half of this circle. This point right here would be 3, 0. This one would be negative 3, 0. This top would be 0, 3. I'm bounded also by the x-axis and negative 3 to 3. So what I really want is that semicircle. So the area of that semicircle is half the area of the full circle. So the area is 1 half pi r squared, but my r is 3, so 3 squared, which is 9 halves pi square units. Still easy and still involves no calculus. All right. What if I then ask you to find the area of this region bounded by this curve, the x-axis, x equals 1, negative 1 to 2. Again, we draw the figure, right? So 1 plus x squared we know is a parabola, shift it up 1, so it looks like this. Hmm, not a very good drawing, but you get the point. Negative 1 passes through the point negative 1, 2. So we'll draw this line. And then 2 passes through the point 2, 5, right? That's what it looks like. 
this is the line x equals 2, this is the line x equals negative 1, here's my curve f, and what I care about is finding the area of this region right here. And this is where what we have done so far has perhaps failed us. This is not a nice figure in plane geometry where we have an easy formula. It's not a rectangle, it's not a triangle, it's not a circle, a half circle. It's this par parabola cut off by these two lines and bounded by the x-axis. And so how are we to go about finding the area of that region? Well, what we know about plane geometry isn't going to fail us. It's just we might have to think about it in a different way. Now what is true is, although I don't know maybe the precise area of this region, I could approximate it. I could take this interval, which goes from negative 1 to 2, and break it up into smaller intervals. Let's just break it up into 3. So that's one interval, that's another, and that's my third one. And I could make these rectangles, and I could make them Maybe I'll make this rectangle, and I'll make this rectangle, and then I'll make this rectangle. Now, I could find the area of each of those rectangles and then and say that the area under this curve is approximately the area of the sum of these rectangles, right? So if that's R1, R2, and R3, then what I'm saying is that the area of my rectangle is about uh, the area, or so R1 is the area of this region, plus R2 plus R3. And you would say, well, yeah, but it's not a very good approximation. And you would be right. We could do better. So what I could do is say, well, let's not, instead of breaking it up into three regions, let me do a kind of a quick sketch again. Ooh, that looks bad. Still the same piece is cut off. All right. But instead of breaking it up into three, let me break it up into six. So it would be a chunk here, there, 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 and there. So that's one interval, two intervals, three intervals, four intervals, five intervals, six intervals. Now let me draw the same kind of rectangles. We'll go there. Oops. Ooh, that did not look good. There. Here. Here here and there. And I say, well, now I've got, so now I'm saying, and I'm guessing that you would agree, that the area is about R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4 plus R5 plus R6. And it's not exactly equal to it, but it's about it, and I bet you would agree that it is a better about it than this original picture. Agreed? Okay. And do you agree with this, that if I were to, instead of six rectangles, perhaps I broke it up into a million and six rectangles? Do you think that the area would be even closer approximated by the sum of those rectangles?